Hey guys, great to see you again and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Um, first, before I get into this video, can we talk about this t-shirt right here? That's right, it's a squad tee. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you probably have no idea what this is, but I got this last week when I went to meet Katie and Desi for their Australian squad tour here in Brisbane. Um, which was just an unbelievable day. Uh, if you want to see all my pictures and my story around how the day went, I've put up a blog post about it. Um, so I've got the link just down below for my blog. Um, go check it out. There's some really cool pictures. I got one with Sven um, in the lineup. I didn't get to get a photo of John, but the memories are still with me and I will never forget them. <laughs> um, and of course there's photos with the girls and all of that. So uh, if you're interested in that at all, go check it out. Uh, it was a super exciting day. Um, they were absolutely beautiful. The girls were like too pretty to look at. I was just like, oh my gosh, like their faces were just glowing. Um, couldn't believe it and they were just so lovely and the guys as well they were so fun so lovely and made it a wonderful day because I was within the first 200 people in the line I was around the 30 mark I got to get this free t-shirt plus um, some stickers and other goodies which are on the blog post super exciting and I will treasure this shirt forever and I absolutely love it so now that's out of the way let's get on with the unboxing of these wonderful packages here uh, last month I bought all of these things online um, around payday, of course. I meant to film this video much sooner, however, um, there was one package which didn't come until last week. <laughs> so most of them came within days of me ordering it. There was one last one I was waiting for and I didn't want to film it until it arrived. So I've been patiently waiting with all these things under my makeup table <laughs> and it's been very frustrating because I'm... I've been so excited to open them and try them because these are things I love. Uh, and also because it took so long for that last one to arrive, I actually got a few other things in that time. So this is, so this will be unboxing everything I bought last payday as well as some things I got in between. Including some makeup I got from a friend who went to the US recently, so I got her to pick up some items that we don't have here in Australia. Either because they just don't sell it here or because it's new and it's not here yet. Um, so lots and lots, lots of things to show. Uh, first, I just want to talk about um, why I bulk ordered everything, because I normally just buy it as I go. Um, so I was looking into shipping and stuff, particularly things from America or online, because in the past when I looked at it, um, things have been pretty tough, it's been expensive, um, or just shipping just didn't exist uh, to Australia. So I was looking at how that's changed recently and there's like so many more available options and affordable options to get things shipped here, which is fantastic. I've waited for years for that to come. Uh, and then when I was thinking about how like, you know, things are more accessible, um, someone, one of the YouTubers I watch mentioned Ebates, um, which is something I had looked into about five years ago, but because nothing shipped here that was on Ebates, I was like, oh, oh well, never mind. Um, but then I thought, well, since shipping has changed and Australia has much more like, access to this stuff now, maybe, it, maybe it's changed. Um, so I checked out Ebates again, uh, and sure enough, like most of their stores ship here now, or if they don't, um, there's so many other ways to get things shipped here now, like through, um, Australia Post, they have Shopmate, which is like, they have a US postal address, so for things that only ship to the US, you can get it shipped there and then forwarded here. Which you've always been able to do, but it used to cost you so much money. But now there's that option and a few other options, and they're all quite affordable. Um, so now that shipping's not an issue, I can do stuff like Ebates. Um, if you've never heard of Ebates before, it's a cashback reward system. So that means that when you're buying stuff online through the Ebates website or the app, you'll get a percentage of what you spend back. So it can range anywhere between like 3% of what you spend to 15, depending on the sale and the deals that they have at the time. So that's super exciting because like if you're gonna buy stuff online anyway, you might as well save a few dollars while you're at it, right? Um, and so also, I when I was looking through, when I was doing my research on Ebates, um, I also found that Australia now has their own version of it. I don't know how long it's been around, um, but it's called Cash Rewards, and it's exactly the same thing, but for Australian stores. So it just means you pop onto the website, you look through all the deals in the stores they have there, which is most of them. It's like Target, Priceline, all the stores you'd normally shop from. 
uh, and you just click on it and then it takes you to the website, you buy it what you want and then you get some money back, which is like, woohoo. So I'm not like advertising or promoting that in any way. I'm not being asked to endorse it. It's just something I discovered again and thought, wow, this is really exciting. So I thought I would share it with you in case you're like me and you do a lot of online shopping and you want to save a few dollars. So I've got the links for both of those down below in the, in the description box um, for both Ebates and Cash Rewards. Um, you can sign up, it's free, and it's all pretty self-explanatory. I figured it out, you know, pretty quickly. <laughs> so yeah, all of this stuff that I bought a month ago was through either Cash Rewards or Ebates. Um, and so I just kind of did it in one big thing around payday and got some money back, which is great. Uh, and they will certainly come in handy next week with Black Friday. I already have my list ready of all the things I want to buy or at least see if they're on special, if there's a sale. Things like Typo and Ulta, um, all the usual culprits for Black Friday. The first place I'm going to go is Ebates and Cash Rewards because they have good deals all the time anyway. Um, like good, like 30% off random stuff. But considering Black Friday sales as well are usually pretty big, I'm assuming that they're going to be involved. So I'm super excited for that next week. Having not had either of those at around Black Friday, I'm not sure what the deals are going to be like. But I would say it's worth signing up now so that when it comes you don't miss out on any really good deals. Okay, so now with all of that said, all the context and backstory out of the way, let's start opening these packages. Okay, so I've got my scissors here ready to go. Um, I'm going to start with the things that I bought online first uh, and explain my way through as we go. Okay, so this did come in a box or a satchel at some point, but my husband threw it out, um, which is okay because it's just a poster box, but I was like, I wanted to be in a box for an unboxing video. That makes sense, right? So this is from e.l.f. I got this from the e.l.f. website itself. Um, e.l.f. they also should probably not be unwrapping this and talking at the same time. So, Elf is available at Kmart here in Australia, um, but they only have a few of their products. They don't have the whole range. And there's a lot of things that I've always wanted from Elf because I've seen other YouTubers use it and it looks really good. Um, so they had a good deal on, uh, I think it was Ebates. Uh, and so I just went through and bought a lot of stuff that I've wanted to try or I already have and love. Um, so... And again, because it's been so long since I ordered this, I can't even remember most of the things I ordered, so a lot of these are going to be a surprise to me. And I'll be like, oh my gosh. First things first is a repurchase. So this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Uh, it's just like a flat, dense packing brush. I already have one of these and I love it for packing colour on the lid, especially foiled eyeshadows. It works really well. Uh, and it's got a really nice pearlized white handle. I don't know if you can see it there, but these are really good. And it's like only a dollar, maybe three dollars for these ones because these are like the professional ones, but still super cheap and a really good brush. Highly recommend. Uh, also got this smudge brush, which is like the same thing, just a bit shorter and denser. Um, I can't remember why I bought this. <laughs> I think because I enjoyed the other one. I don't have much, many smudging brushes, like I have really like a flat definer brush and pen, pencil brushes but not like nothing this shape. So I think that'll be good for smoking things out. Uh, what else do we have here? I've got the Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black which looks like this. Looks similar to the NYX eyeliner uh, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, so excited to try that one out. Oh yeah, this one I've heard so much about online, everywhere, and raved about. It's the HD Under Eye Setting Powder, um, which looks like this. It comes with a little brush here. It's just like a really, really fine powder in this little jar, um, which is really good for setting the under eyes uh, without them looking too cakey. Uh, everyone's raved about this being amazing, so I'm really keen to try that out. And last thing from e.l.f. is a foundation. It's called, well, I don't know if it's a name. <laughs> it's more of a description. The Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Flawless Finish Foundation in porcelain. Looks like this. It's got a nice um, frosted glass, it looks like. I might just take it out of the box. I'm on the hunt for a really good foundation, so there's quite a few foundations in these boxes, I'm pretty sure. Um, so there's the packaging there, looks really cute. Um, 
Reminds me a lot of the NARS one actually, it's very similar. But I've heard a lot of good things about this as well. Actually, I'll go with these ones next. So these are out of the bag that they came in. So um, I did a Priceline uh, shop through the Cash Rewards website and I got a few like, um, I think I got rid of the box because I got some stuff around the house as well, like soap or whatever. But in terms of beauty related items, I got one of the big Batiste dry shampoo. This one's in the original um, flavour, <laughs> if you will, uh, which I haven't actually tried before. Um, I always get the tropical or the blush one. Kind of makes me sad that the big containers only have like three to four scents, like they don't have all the scents that you get in like the much smaller bottles. Um, but I did try this today and the other day because my other one ran out and it was really nice. It's like a really fresh kind of scent and I quite like it so far. Um, so yeah, got one of those because need dry shampoo. Also got the Dr. Lewin's Eternal Youth Rejuvenate and Renew Day and Night Cream. <laughs> That's a lot. So I got a little sample size of this in the Priceline skincare bag that came out recently. Oh, I think, I think they've had one since the one I bought, but anyway, there was an ins there was a post on my Instagram a couple of months ago where I got like all these skincare products from Priceline because it was like if you spent 70 bucks you got all this stuff for free. And I was like brilliant, it's a great way to sample products I haven't tried before. Um, and from that actually there's a lot that I've loved. Like I can't think of anything I haven't loved from that, from that batch. Um, but anyway, one of my favourites was the Dr. Lewin's um, Eternal Youth Cream, which came in this like tiny little tube about this size. It was so good that I had to buy a full jar of it. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but because it was so good and I was reaching for it every day, um, I just had to get it. Oh my gosh, I haven't actually looked at the jar before, it's so pretty. I've always seen the jar like this, right, like from the front, and you're like, oh yeah, that's nice. But look at this, it's like a full diamond on the top. That is so cool. Oh, packaging, gets me every time. But anyway, so that's really cool. Excited to keep using that one. And last thing I got from Priceline was this NYX um, Liquid Crystal Body Liner. Uh, this is in the shade Crystal Silk. From my understanding, it's just like a gel glitter liner type situation um which reminded me of the um the urban decay um ones i can't remember the name but you know the ones that i mean that like a glitter liner heavy heavy metals heavy heavy metal thing which i don't have and i want them but i saw this and i was like oh i should try this one first so also another thing i want is the steeler liquid metal eyeshadow but um haven't got yet and again this reminds me of that kind of thing oh my gosh this is impossible to open there we go so you can probably see it there we go you can see that bit better now because it's not so shiny so I thought this would be really cool especially at Christmas time to like do like a liner and then put this on top of it or also just to put in the inner corner uh, that'll be super cute so hopefully that's not like a disappointment in fact let's just give it a swatch while we're here so there's the tip there. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And yeah, it's kind of like a glitter glue. I don't know if you can see it just there. I'll have to see how it wears and if it like, um, because I have printing issues with liner anyway, I'll have to see if this holds up, if it dries well or if it just smears everywhere. So as with all the products, I'll try them out and let you know what I think. Okay, moving on to this one. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's right. Okay, so nearly totally forgot about this. So part of this haul uh, isn't just makeup, but makeup organization stuff. So if you like organizing and stationery like I do, you're gonna love this. Um, so as I've mentioned many times in other videos, I've been trying to rejig my makeup organization. Um, like I just haven't quite been happy with it. Uh, and I've changed it slightly since the last time you saw it, which was in my apartment tour video. Um, back then I still had the nail polishes on like a cake stand on my makeup table, but I just hated that every time I opened the drawer, they would rattle and it was like, oh, it was just really annoying. <laughs> so I've since put them into my drawer 
and I've moved my palettes over, but it's still not, I still wasn't happy. So I was going to get stuff from the container store in the US. Um, I was looking around for something that had like a multi-purpose use that I could work for my palettes because I don't really like how they're set up. Uh, and also the, my lipsticks don't like the way they're set up at the moment. It's just, I can't see them. Like it's organized, but it needs to be better. <laughs> so there was stuff there that I was going to get, but then I ended up finding the same thing or similar things on eBay um, for a bit cheaper. So I ended up, um, so I ended up getting a couple of things from eBay uh, through the Cash Rewards website um, to save a few dollars. Uh, so hopefully, um, and I didn't really have a specific idea in mind of what I'm going to do with these, but I knew I had a few options. Um, if I couldn't use it one way, I could use it another way. So uh, hopefully these are good. You cannot, it's always a bit of a gamble with eBay. <laughs> um, but let's take a look. Oh, so I don't know the best way to show you this. Okay, so it's an acrylic organizer. Um, and it's like uh, that you can put all your compacts in. Um, so I had another idea for this and now I've completely forgotten. Um, I had an idea of something else I could put into this. I'm just trying to think what would fit. Nail polish wouldn't fit. There was something else I thought of. I'll have to go through my stuff and get creative. Um, but I have a lot of loose compacts like for highlighters, blushes, bronzers that are just, I have them kind of stacked up like this anyway, but it's kind of annoying to filter through. So my plan I think was to put this in the drawer. Oh, oh wait, that's right. Now I remember. Now I remember. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was getting worried that I totally forgot what I got it for. Yep. So I could use it for compacts and I might, but the other idea I had was that, um, I want to have a lot of my liquid lipsticks like laying flat. However, there are some things like my MAC bullets and those kind of lipsticks that I want to have standing up. And so I thought if they fit in this, I can use this as like a flat lipstick holder because I hate the ones that go up because they don't fit in my drawer. <laughs> so I'll have to see if they actually, if it's wide enough, I might just give it an open. Um, but yeah, I was going to see if my lipsticks fit into it. I could get another one of these and use that for my compacts as well. Um, I can use one for my compacts and one for my lipsticks. So let's have a look. So that's the size of it there. That would definitely fit a lipstick, hey? Uh, and then I can just like line them up. I don't know how many I could fit in there. Probably four, maybe, hopefully. So, um, so that's really exciting. I could even do half and half, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do if I... Should... Because I want to keep as little things on my table as possible. I want to kind of keep stuff down away in the drawer. Um, but I love having things on display. So <laughs> um, not sure what I'll do with that. If I, if it works well, I might get another one. But yes, I'll have to have a play and see how that works out. While we're talking about organisation, I might just get the other... I might just do this one first. So this is the other organization thing I bought. It is an acrylic drawer set. Um, I know these are super popular and usually when I've looked them up before they've either been well expensive like $70 uh, or they've been um, well they've just been a little bit ugly like cheap looking. Um, like preferably I'd have glass everything because it's just a bit nicer but this just functions well for what I want to use it for, so I'm just going to have to do it. Okay, I think I'm just going to tip it out. Okay, so here, oh, this way, PS de Resistance. Um, you can't quite see it because it's covered in glad wrap, but it's got these like little finger holes here so you pu pull out the drawers. You can kind of, there we go, you can see it there. So I bought this, again, for one of two reasons. <laughs> Nothing like a multi-use function. Um, so my plan with this 
firstly was the obvious one of lipsticks because that's how most people store their lipsticks is in these drawers because you can lay them flat and you can see what's what. So my idea was to have like a drawer for lip glosses, a drawer for liquid lipsticks um, and then keep my other like proper lipstick bullet things in that other one. Um, so I might do that and I probably will, however my other idea for it was my palettes because I don't like how they're set up and it's really hard to find like a letter stand situation, you know how it's like divided like this and you can put it in that way. Um, they're all really ugly, <laughs> I can't find one that I like. So wasn't really sure about that way but I thought with this maybe I could put some or some of the smaller ones in the bottom here. Um, like. My Morphe palette wouldn't fit in there, but my Lorac palette would, my Makeup Geek or um, my, my Z palettes probably would, that kind of thing. I might put them in the bottom uh, if it's not too messy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, still have other plans for that, so I'll have to brainstorm. Because the thing is, I've bought all these things for several options, so I'll have to decide what I want to do with what. <laughs> so yeah, last organisation thing. This thing I did not buy online. I bought this in store while I was waiting for my online orders. Um, so Australia, or Brisbane at least, only recently got a TK Maxx. I always go to say TJ Maxx because that's how it is overseas. Um, people like Sam Sherman go there all the time and do hauls and I'm always so jealous because everything is so pretty. And I was like, why do we have a TJ Maxx? Uh, and then finally we got a TK Maxx, which I, I'm assuming is just the same thing but the Australian version. Um, I mean, like, the branding looks exactly the same. So I went in there to check it out, to see what they have. Lots of really pretty things, especially for Christmas. Really nice candles and homeware stuff. Uh, I actually had a recent post about a backpack I got from there, which was Christian Lacroix, um, which I'm, oh, was an absolute bargain, and I absolutely love it. Um, but I also found this little gem here. Whoa, look at it. So again, with the theme of decorating my makeup table, I already have like a, a glass, well, I already have like a tray with a mirror bottom for my brush holders and my foundations, which is really pretty. I really like that. Um, but I saw this, which also has a glass bottom, uh, and I just loved it. One, because it's glass, not plastic, and two, because of the gold trim. It's just so pretty and it adds a little pizzazz to my quite bland <laughs> table of just white. Um, so again, not sure exactly how I want to use this though. First thought of course was palettes because look how big these babies are. This is exactly what I was talking about just two minutes ago where I couldn't find like a vertical organizing thing that wasn't ugly. Um, so I, I haven't actually tried putting my palettes in this yet. I'm hoping my Morphe palette can fit in there. Like maybe I can put my larger ones in here and my smaller ones in that drawer system. I'll have to see what fits. But um, this was definitely a solution for that. Uh, as for these front little squares, I thought maybe foundations, maybe brushes. I haven't decided what I would put in here. Um, haven't quite decided yet. So I don't know yet. I'll have to play. But how pretty is it? TK Maxx. And it was only $25. Absolutely love it. They have other stuff as well that match this. But this was the only thing I really had use for. Um, so yeah, super pleased with this one. Can't wait to have a little play. Uh, so this is the last thing I got online. Um, this is from Sigma. I actually put a little Insta story of this one when it arrived because it was so cute. This reminds me of Makeup Geek and the way they package stuff. Because it's got the pink on the inside. It's so cute. It's got this little envelope and like cute little sticker. It's the, the details. The devil's in the details. Um, I haven't actually looked into this yet. What is this? Oh, it's like a guide for all their products. Ooh, oh, look at that. It's got all their brushes and stuff. This is a really good... Because I get lost on the website. There's too many brushes and it's organised in a weird way. But this is fantastic. It's got it by category and all the different sets and the cleaning stuff. I'll have to look at that later. Oh my gosh. That's really helpful. Thank you, Sigma. All right. So again, Sigma, I think I got this through Ebates, I'm pretty sure, being a an American brand. Look at the packaging, it's so pretty. I got it. Oh, that's right, I got some freebies as well. Okay, so. All right, put that to the side. So in here are the things I actually bought, uh, which 
I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, so we have here the large concealer brush, the F65, which is here. Take it out of its ooh, sleeve because I don't really have a brush like this yet. Um, so I found, just because it's so large, I have a smaller one of these. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so I thought this would be really good under the eyes, especially with something like the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. Um, and for cleaning up and stuff. I don't know, I just didn't really have anything that flat and smooth. Thought that would be a really handy tool to have. Uh, and I also got the the F35 tapered highlighter brush because I don't have a tapered highlighter brush. Um, for highlighting I just use a fan brush which is good but I just noticed that when people use a tapered brush it ends up being a bit more glowy and a bit more not blended. I don't know it just looks really nice so I, I want it in <laughs> pretty much. Take this out of its box. Packaging is hard. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I really liked it too, of course, because it's rose gold. Oh, wow, it's even engraved with Sigma. That's so fancy. Um, also super soft, so I thought this would be really cute for highlighting. Um, yeah, the last one was silver, so they don't quite match, but oh well. Um, but I'm cool with that. I have a big mix of things in my little brush holders anyway. So, yes, I bought this two, these two. And because I got these two, I could get a brush for free. Um, so what I got was uh, the F80 Flat Kabuki brush, uh, which looks like this. I actually don't have a Flat Kabuki brush. I know that's like amazing. Everybody has one. Um, I just didn't see the need for it because I had like a stippling brush and blending brushes and dense brushes. And I was like, well, I don't really see the point. But people still rave about them. All the time and so I feel like they have a special place in everyone's collection so I wanted to try one and since it was free like why not so that's what it looks like if you haven't seen it I'm sure you've all seen it <laughs> by now I'm probably like the last to get one of these mm. it's really nice reminds me of Zoeva brushes actually oh so beautiful um, oh and it's the five-year anniversary edition it's engraved in there how cool is that um, so yeah, got these three brushes from Sigma and also got a sample of their cleaning gel brushmatic stuff, which I've never actually used before. So I'll have to try them out because I do have the cleansing mat, but I always use like other cleansers on it. Uh, okay, so while I was waiting for all those uh, orders to come in, or the last few, it was Sigma actually that took the longest. Um, that was the one I was waiting on. Uh, Kiki K had a deal where, well, oh, that's right. It was like my membership anniversary. So I got a $10 off deal and then they were also having free shipping at the time. So I was like, ooh, I'll have to buy something with that then. So what I got was the Christmas edition of the Paper Lovers book. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these before, they are incredible. I have a normal one of these, like a non-Christmas one. Um, but I've seen the Christmas one in previous years and I always wanted it and regretted not buying it. So I got it this year for Christmas. Yes, my tree is already up. I'm in Christmas mode. I am ready. Um, so I'll just give you a quick sneaky peek at this because it is beautiful. All right. So I'll sit this way. It's like storybook time. <laughs> I'll just flick through this for you. As you can see, there's like... Um, gift tags, there's wrapping paper, there's uh, cards, envelopes, stickers. Look how pretty these are. Look, they're all like foiled and they say things like no peeking and open me. They're really cute. They've got these tiny little gift tags and stuff. They're all completely unique and they also have little projects in them like um, like this here is a gift box. It's got like perforated edges and it's got instructions down the bottom of how to build it. And they also have decorations as well, cute little ties and stuff, all sorts of just everything you need for Christmas wrapping is in this book. Um, oh yeah, look at these, like little gift tags. So they've got stickers, they've got tags, they've got cards, they've got gift boxes that you build yourself. They're just so, so cute. And the wrapping paper is really cute as well. So yeah, really excited to have this one this year for Christmas. It's really cute. 
um, highly recommend it. Like I said, I've got a normal one as well, um, which has like things you can hang up at your desk or um, just around the house. Really sweet. Okay, and last but not least, as I said at the beginning of the video, I had a friend who went to the US a couple of weeks ago while I was waiting for these orders to come in. Uh, and so when she was going, um, so before she was going, she's like, Is it, if there's anything you want me to buy, give me a list, I'll go get it. So I made a list of things that we definitely don't have in Australia at this point in time. There's a lot of things I could have got and didn't. <laughs> I went for the things that I wanted the most. Um, these things may come here later. Uh, like there was a lot of lip products I could have bought, but it's like, I already have a lot. I don't really need them. So I saved them for later, probably back to Black Friday. Um, but yeah, there were just a few things that look absolutely gorgeous and the reviews are really good. So I wanted to try them for myself. So first thing, which you would have seen surely if you're on YouTube a lot, is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, which looks like this. Oh, I've been wanting to try this for so long because everybody swatches it and it looks insane. Super excited to try that. Um, it looks a bit dark, but I think with a light hand, it'll be okay on my skin tone. I may have to mix it with a lighter one, but still super reflective and really pretty. Um, another thing I got was a glitter glue because I don't have any glitter glues or what by glitter glue I mean glitter primer um, because I recently got a sparkler from Makeup Geek which um, which you can use on, a, on its own but because it is so light it can fall away so I thought just having an adhesive would help so I got the NYX glitter primer uh, which I haven't seen in Australia yet. Although I did see that just this week at Priceline they have, for Christmas, they have like a set which has this and a pigment in it. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> I bought it because it wasn't here. But anyway, I'm going to try this with my Makeup Geek Sparkler. And I also will now start buying other pigments and glitters now that I have this so I can play with them, which will be really fun for Christmas as well. I'll just add now, it's just started to bucket down with rain. So if it starts, if you start hearing something or noise, I apologize. <laughs> um, but that's what it is. Um, okay, so next thing I, again, first saw with Sam Sherman. I have learned so many things from that woman. <laughs> she is fantastic. Um, I remember watching this the first time she got it and, um, and I wanted it immediately. It looks so nice and I went straight to Priceline to like check it out and we didn't have it. And I was like, of course we don't have it. Um, but anyway, it was at Ulta, so I got my friend to pick it up. Uh, it's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Obviously a big part of me wanting this is the packaging. It's just so glossy and clean looking. I love the gold up here on the pump and it oh, it just looks so pretty. Um, but even so, when she wore it, it looked really nice. It looked flawless, like healthy skin. Um, it's got SPF, so I really wanted to try that. I got the shade Ivory. From looking at that bottle, it looks like it may be a little dark for me, um, but we'll have to see how we go. Uh, this one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which looks like this. This one's also all over YouTube at the moment. Everybody's talking about it, loving it. Um, so I had to have it. Plus, because in Australia we don't have Wet n Wild at all, um, I was super keen to try this. I got the shade Nude Ivory. Um, packaging's a bit whatever, but I've heard really good things about the foundation itself. Actually, the shade looks really similar to... It's very similar to the one I got from CoverGirl. Um, it's just slightly more on the pink side. So yeah, not sure about shades, um, but really excited to try the formula of that one as well. So lots of new foundations to try between this, the CoverGirl and the e.l.f. one, um, which is good because I've just run out of a couple of my everyday foundations. Um, and, and they were okay, but I'm like looking for like a really good foundation. For my skin so hopefully I find a winner out of these three okay so we have another wet n wild product because obviously again because we don't have it I wanted to test it all out and this one has been raved about and is still raved about even this week I saw a video about this one it's the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder which looks like this and I'm so excited to be holding this in my hands because I've seen everybody else have it and it looks so nice and I was like I want it I want it I want it um, these have been nothing but raved about by everybody, so I cannot wait to try it. I got the shade Blossom Glow, um, which is a little bit more on the pinky cool, si cool side, which I knew would work for my skin tone. With the more golden ones, it can tend to be a little dark, or there's the risk of it being too dark. 
Um, so yeah, really excited to try that. And the last product of the haul, <laughs> finally, we made it. Um, good on you if you're still here. <laughs> You've been here for a very long time. Last thing is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I know this is crazy. This is the first one I've ever bought. <laughs> I know that's insane. Everybody has this concealer on the planet and I just, I thought it might have been overhyped and it may not have been as good as what everyone said. So I just waited for a bit to see if it would stick around and it's still everybody's favorite. So I thought, okay, it's time. It's time for me to have it. So I'm really excited to have this one finally and to test it out for myself. Woo. Oh wow, I mean, I knew it was big because everyone said it was big, that's all everyone says, but it really is, like, in my hand, it's huge. <laughs> um, so I got the shade Fair, um, which this looks like a really good colour match, it's really neutral and really pale, which is perfect. Um, I've been wanting to try, I have been wanting to try this since it came out, but I like to just reserve myself on some things. You've seen this a billion times, I don't need to show you, but... I'm just excited to see it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm really excited to finally be able to play with these things instead of just watching it on my floor in anticipation. Um, if you want to see a specific review of any of these items, then just let me know. Um, of course, I'll need some time to try it all out first, but I'm happy to do product-specific reviews. Um, and again, if you want to see me do a video of like reorganizing my makeup, then just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a little like. Um, and also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that as well. Um, there's also a little bell you can click so you can get notifications of when I upload a video, which is probably handy because I don't have like a schedule. So you never know when a new one's going to pop up. It's probably good to have a notification going. Um, and also again, um, just back to the Ebates and Cash Rewards thing, I'm not endorsed, but if you're interested, the links are below if you want to sign up. Particularly helpful at the moment when you're going to be buying a lot of things for presents and for Christmas, now's the time to sign up and why not save a few dollars. So hope you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!